Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna go over lesson six, which is all over about log properties. So we're gonna go over the first five in this lesson, and then we will go over the last three with some examples in the next lesson. So the first log property is if you have log base B of B, then that's gonna equal one. So for example, log base five of five, that simply equals one. If you remember rewriting this, um, from log form to exponential form, this is the same as, let me get a different color here, the same as base t equals to your big number. So this would be five to the first equals five, and that is true. Okay, same thing here. If you have log of 10, remember this is a common log. So common logs have a base of 10. So log base 10 of 10 is also one. Why? Because 10 to the first equals 10. Okay, then we have the natural log of E. Natural log is also a common, I don't wanna say common log because that's what this one's called. When you have a base of 10, that's your common log. But this one here, if you have natural log, then that is known to have a base of E. So again, your base and what it is of are the same. And so that equals one. And again, why? Because E to the first, does equal e. Okay, so that's your first property when you're when these two right here equal each other when they are the same, then it equals one. The second one is if I have log base b of one, then that's always going to equal zero. <clears throat> so no matter what that base is, if it is of one, it's going to equal zero. So log base five of one is zero. Why? because five to the zero power does equal one. Anything to the zero power equals one. Okay, this is your common log again. So known base of 10. So log base 10 of one or just log one is zero. Why? Because 10 to the zero power does equal one. And lastly, natural log one is zero because this is the natural log of E. So E to the zero power does equal one. So any time you've got a one right here, it's always gonna equal zero. Our second property is if I have log base B of B to the X, then it's going to equal whatever that exponent is. So again, if these two here match each other, then they cancel each other out and it equals whatever the exponent is. This is one of our inverse properties that we're going to be using next lesson. So here, log base five of five to the X power equals X. If you rewrite this, base to equals, and that equals what we have here. And so those are the exact same. So log 10 to the 2x power is 2x. So this is your common log. So we got a base of 10, and that does equal 10 to the 2x. And same thing here, this equals eight, whatever your exponent is, because this is a known e here. So e to the eight does equal e to the eight. Okay, this is our second inverse property. And it is literally the opposite of this. If you have an, a base with an exponent of log base v of x, so the base of the exponent equals the base of the log, then it equals whatever you have right here. So five to the log base five of X, those have the same base, a base of five, the log has a base of five, those cancel and this equals X. Okay, same thing here, these equal each other. 
because this is, has a common, this is a common log with a base of 10. So this just equals R. And then here, these have the same base. This is a natural log, which has a base of E. So they undo each other and we're left with 6Q. And we really need to be good with these inverse properties when it comes to next lesson. And then the last property we're going to go over in this lesson. And we're going to go over it, but we can't really do every example here. We're going to kind of keep coming back to this one. But if m equals n, then log base b of m equals log base b of n. So if I say these two are equivalent to each other, then I can add any log with the same base in front and it equals each other. There's still the same equivalent um, equations and it works backwards too. So if I have log base b, I can just kind of cancel those out and then I can just say that this m equals n. So we're gonna come back to example a, okay? We're gonna solve example a in two ways. That's why I have it twice. But I can go ahead and solve this one here. So this one has to do with this rule right here. You've got natural log of x squared equals natural log of 49. Because these both have the natural log, so they both have, it's a log with a base of e, I can cancel those out and say x squared equals 49, and now I can solve. I will take the square root of both sides and we will say that x equals plus or minus seven. Now with these, when we go to solving, you do wanna make sure that this is in the domain. And if you plug in seven, you get natural log of 49. If you plug in natural uh, negative seven, you still get the natural log of 49. So both of those do work. Okay, so keep number five handy. We're gonna come back and solve these as we go through the lesson. But so far, I can only solve this problem here with what, what we know so far. 